when I first came to Spring, into this ministry, uh, I was with a few co-workers, and we had a flyer that came out, and we thought we were going away for some relaxation, <laughs> and some, um, just get away, get a massage, and gonna have a great weekend <laughs> to relax, and uh, when we came there, we did all of that, but the Lord really moved in a miraculous way. And I've been a part of this um, spring ministry ever since. And that was about five or six years ago. So it came kind of in the middle of the ministry. But the Lord is so great and he is so awesome to continue to keep us uh, together in that way through the phone calls, through the coaching, through the meditation and exercise diet in my life as well. So I just thank God for using this to me in that in that respect. And then also to be able to celebrate with her as God elevated her even higher. So I just want to thank God for that and just how he moved in my life and I was able to take some of these things from the spring ministry and use them in my life as well as my finances, as well as um, just everything as a whole to make me a whole person and a whole parent. I just thank God for everything that we learned through that ministry. It has really been a blessing and sometimes I have to pull back when I look at the book that was written. And I just thank God for that, that vineyard. I just thank God for every trial that she went through, I could go through and see, even with these kids that are not my biological kids, everything that she has gone through, some of the trials and tribulations with young male sons, and then now even with a uh, female daughter. So I just thank God for those things. And I never looked at Hagar. It's always Sarah, looking at Sarah and the blessing of Abraham. And I see how well that relates to a single woman being uh, looked upon differently as Hagar was. But I just thank God for the revelation to see there that God loves the single woman too. And I just really thank him for the opportunities that I was able to encounter in this whole experience. So I just tell you, God has really been awesome in my life from me saying, yes, God, I'll do this, yes. to all the way, even now, the trials and tribulations that you go through with adopted children, the situations that they have to go through, and then the push and the drive and the advocating that you have to continue to do for them. So I thank God for that um, that experience, even though it's hard sometimes. And I just hate God. Sunday, I'm coming home with a truckload. So 
Spring. 